Now, last Made in China presentation we have is Aang and Shea. They will talk to you about the video game that they did, uh, walking people through the process of entrepreneurship. So, yeah, give them a big round of applause. As I would say, the best is for last. <laughs> I promise, it's also the last time you see me here. <laughs> so, I'm Aang again. And I'm Shay from New Zealand. Uh, today we're going to be talking about something a little bit different to the past two teams. So we'll be presenting what we've been working on for the last two months, our game, Mad Scientist Tycoon. So before we came to China, both of us realized that we wanted to make a video game because it combines both of our passions. Mine being working with computers, I love learning new skills such as uh, 3D design, working with motion design, um, graphic design, all things to do with computers I love. And in terms of this project, I've been working on learning how to code, um, learning how to create user interfaces, and to design algorithms. As for me, I've always been in love with art. I have been drawing digitally for about seven years now. And I am doing in charge of doing the assets drawing. Assets is basically a fancy word for things that goes into a video game. And also the graphics and the concept. If you're interested in more of my art, I will be having a boot back right there. Afterwards, you can come see in the end of the exhibitions. So as we started looking at examples of entrepreneurial games, what we were trying to create, we identified one main issue. When something's marketed to a specific thing, such as educating about entrepreneurship, the only people that are going to look into buying it are people already interested in entrepreneurship. To counter that, we, wanted, we decided that we wanted to make a video game that is marketed as a very fun game because people play games for the purpose of having fun. And so that opens up a 2.8 billion mobile gamers market, which is a very large market. And instead, we would have entrepreneurship element as the underlying focus. So um, what is the genre of our game? The market we're looking at is simulation or tycoon games. Here are a couple of examples, you know, maybe building up your farm in Heyday, or building up your tower in Tiny Tower. Basically, a simulation game is where you earn money to put more money into the business in order to earn more money to put more money into the business. So while we were in China, we had the opportunity to go and visit a company called Fun China World. The company produces a game called Fun China World. And basically, their aim is to teach about Mandarin and teach foreign, foreign people how to look and to, teach, or, and to teach Mandarin to foreign language speakers. However, they're teaching Mandarin in a fun and very exciting way, and it's also very interactive. Another lying lesson is on Chinese culture. They're not only just teaching the language, but they're also intertwining a storyline with the culture. So the concept behind our game. The game follows the user as a mad scientist starting up his restaurant where he's using GMOs or genetically modified food in order to boost his production and grow faster. As for the key elements in our game, we have four. So the first one is science. We are using bioengineering and real science research. So that means every science aspect in our games has already been researched and experimented on in the real world. The next element is entrepreneurship, of course. Um, some of the key aspects of entrepreneurship in our game are finances, investment, marketing, and growth. And next is the gaming element. We're making a tycoon game, which is a strategic and a planning game, which is enjoyable and very engaging. The final element in our game is labor rights, where we have an underlying ethical question about workers' rights. Here is the algorithm, which might look a little intimidating at first, but I'll break it down real quick for you. Very intimidating. So to start off with, the, game is, uh, the user is introduced to the game and their player. They start off with a mini game, which is simulating the pitching process right here, um, where they're getting a certain amount of money from their family and friends, depending on how well they do in the mini game. Next, they move on to the core aspect of the game, which you can see here with the three sort of choices that they can make. So it's the mini, <coughs> I mean workers, and also the marketing and the science. So as they put more money into minions, they get faster production. 
As they put more money into marketing, they get more customers. And as they put more money into science, their food sells for more. So now we will be inviting you to go along through our gameplay with us. So first, you will be able to face a choice of which design you would like to choose. So we have two scientists that we, you could choose from as your avatar. Next, you are introduced to your restaurant. This is where you'll be serving your food in the game. And now, this is where the magic happens. This is your kitchen, where you will be making your food and experimenting on questionable GMOs. And here is where the players make that decision. What area do they want to invest in? What do you think? I think we should start with science, you know? Because we need to have something to sell first. Let's go with that. Oh no! There's angry double muscle pigs! <laughs> they look kind of angry. But I mean, we can at least sell them for twice the price. No. Um, shall we go with workers? We need yes. someone to cook. So, I guess we're faced with the choice of giving the workers a good pay rate and have a, live a happy and healthy life, or maybe we could maybe hold back on the pay rate a little, pay a little less, get a little bit more profit. I mean, they don't look too sad. Finally, you need customers, so marketing. Marketing it is. New GMO restaurant, double the bacon and double the fun. So the new restaurant has been opened up and I think we're doing pretty well. So now we are going to be leading you through some breakdowns of our elements. So the first is science. Why GMO, you might ask? Well, surprisingly, 75% of the food in your local supermarket has been in one way or another genetically modified. In our games, currently we are giving you five examples to choose from. Today, I'm going to be talking about two examples. So the first one is the double muscle pigs. And this was created in South Korea by altering a, gene, a protein gene which controls the muscle growth in the pigs. So by altering it, the muscles are able to grow twice as fast, which means twice as much money. And that is being or already being conducted experiments on. And the next one is being commercialized since 2017 in Canada, which is the Aqua Advantage Salmon. This is being created by taking a gene from the ocean pod and the Chinook Salmon and inserting them into the Atlantic Salmon. Thus creates this Aqua Advantage Salmon, which grows at twice amount, but at least twice amount of times that the salmon grows at. So that means that these salmon will reach the, mar the market twice as fast. And each of these scientific elements will be shown through the game as the player upgrades. They'll be taught a little bit about how the science behind the GMOs work. Next, I'll talk about some of the entrepreneurial values in the game. So the first and most important one is finances. As the player is going through the game, the main thing they have to do is work out what area they want to invest in with the money that they have as they earn it. Next is growth. We learned that growth is an extremely important part of every business, so we wanted to visualize that growth throughout the game. As they spend more money on things, their restaurant will grow and they'll have more customers and everything will seem bigger. <laughs> um, next is marketing. As, you could, as you've seen, there's a lot of elements of them having to actually get customers in by investing money into that marketing. And finally, pitching and investment. This was one of the most important and most emphasized values from the people that we spoke to. Pitching an investment is sort of the backbone of every business and it's how you get all that money. So we wanted to add that mini game so that it could simulate that process. And so I'll just talk about some of the back-end development and what we have so far. We don't worry if you don't understand, because I don't. So we're coding the game in Unity Engine using C Sharp as the language. Um, Basically, so far we have the mechanics behind the game, how you move from screen to screen, so from the kitchen to the restaurant. So we have buttons doing that. We have things 
um, organizing the UI, which is the interface, so that as the player earns money, it comes up. And then I've also coded the algorithm in so that as the upgrades are made, the player does earn more money in terms of that. And now here is the asset design, which I've been working on, which is designing the minions, the food production, and the main character. So I've been working on these, and as you can see, minions kind of looks kind of sad. I guess someone chose not to give them a good pay rate. So where are we heading? By the 28th of October, we want to have our beta version done so that we can have our peers, our friends and family test the game and identify some of the issues behind it. And by the 15th of November this year, make sure to look in your app store for the sci Mad Scientist Tycoon because they are going to be heading your way. So, thank you for listening. Thank you. Thank you so much to Shay and Ang. So those were all the presentations we made in China. As you can see, we did a variety of different things. Uh, please feel free to reach out to any of the people who just presented. Give them feedback on whether they pitch or their video game. You know, just let them know what you think, ask them questions. After all, we are business people. So yeah, just help us out with that. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, once again, a big thanks to the Made in China module for sharing that with us. I have two main takeaways. I want to invest in these companies, but one, I don't have $10 million, and two, I no longer know how I feel about bacon. <laughs> um, but anyways, the students from this module also, as you may have seen, created games. And they are all going to be showcased in a Japanese style room behind the food area over there. Um, to enter this room, uh, we kindly request you to take off your shoes because it is required by the venue and we don't want to upset them because we want to come back. Um, so yeah, just a kind reminder to please take off your shoes, but let that not stop you from playing these amazing games. Um, yeah, so. Thank you so much for coming to this event. After the first event of the event, you can join us in the third event. You can join us in our three events. 在我们三个学生个人作品展示区域继续和他们互动，然后了解更多他们关于他们作品的细节和过程。然后，如果你们对我们这个全球思维学校有更多的问题，想要更加了解我们在实践的这个创新的话，创新教育的话，请来到这个